What is going on, friends? Sean Don coming back with a technical analysis. Here we have Ramon Sepulveda. Um, yeah, Ramon's PR is 52.27. So he's in a little bit of a slump. So that's what I'm uh, here to help him out with. Give him some technical ideas to work from. So before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that if you are interested in a technical analysis of your own or any other online coaching services, go to my website, www.gripandrip.co. Business has been booming, so hop on the Grip and Rip train, baby. All right, choo-choo, chug along. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, all right? Slowly descending into madness. Either way, gripandrip.co for coaching services, all right? Uh, dark humor aside, let's get into this video and take a look at Ramon's throw. Uh, he sent me two videos. Both were pretty good. I think this one just has a little bit more to uh, work with. Very long and relaxed. Pretty good patience. I think you're just setting up around the left side a little bit too much. So let me oh, move the uh, move that back. All right. Um, Let's break it down. Uh, yeah, so the winds look fine. Reaching the hands up overhead. Reaching the ball out. Stepping out. Hips forward. Reaching back behind you really well. Elbow down. You're bending a little bit at the hips here, and this, like, I think comes down to some stylistic sort of thing. I don't think it's wrong, but... Uh, just keep in mind that for like an effective hammer throw, your hips need to be underneath you for you to really be getting the most out of the power of your legs, I think. Um, and I think with this uh, kind of dramatic setting the hips back, it's not wrong, but we'll see how it affects the throw later on. Otherwise, ball is out away from you. Left shoulder is a little bit up. And you do this kind of long, really, really long sweep across with a, a heel. So four heels is also interesting. Um, but I think you just need a little bit more direction in the entry, uh, especially with it coming off the heel turn. Like I think you need to set the direction a little bit more back to 180 where it looks like when this heel grounds, you're really setting up the direction down what would be that right sector line. And you can see the, your body and the ball even has a tendency to move around this left a little bit too much. and you're too far over this left side, as you can see where your hips go. So ideally in the hammer throw, you should stay centered. All right, so this left side right here, after this, after the ball goes right there, you should be trying to stay back on this left, or sorry, on your right leg. So you need to push back with this left heel a little bit, get your chest up, get your hips underneath, and stay back on this right side just a little bit more. Um, this left side needs to come back a little bit more. I think you're almost overdoing it with this left side. Like I said, and then if you look at, pull my mouse right in the middle of your hips, you're going to see where your hips shift on that next catch. So like I said, very much over around the left side. So you're kind of like cutting off the rotation. So of the ball doing like a full, 360, a full 360 degree like kind of rotation around you, you kind of cut the ball off like right there. And you catch super early, which is cool. But then it's like, if you catch too early, it's really hard to work with that. Um, you do a good job of staying patient. I like the heel catch, like your hips are centered underneath you. Your chest is still a little bit forwards. So we'll see what happens with the hips throughout this turn. But you're just catching so early. It's You have to really, really, really be patient if you're going to catch this early. And what I would say is stay back on the right a little bit more and try not to catch so early. Um, it might feel good and look pretty, but it's not the most effective thing to do, I don't think. Uh, so that left heel comes down though as you go on through double support. Your hips are more underneath you. The left side, left shoulder is still up a little bit. So that's kind of cutting off the rotation once again. Your hips do get under you well here. You're back over this right side. See, so like now this is what I'm talking about. You're back over this right foot towards the end of double support. But you still like the system's kind of already set in motion. So you're kind of getting pulled around this left side again. Uh, losing a little bit of tension on the ball. Like I said, the direction is kind of going down what would be this right sector line instead of going back towards 180 every turn. So you've got to kind of fight the ball around, and when you have to fight the ball, you're going to end up kind of decelerating. All right, instead of letting the hammer get free. Once again, a super deep catch. Looks pretty, but it's like, what are you going to do with it? And then you're standing up well. You're on that ball of the foot well. Hips underneath you. Left shoulder's still a little bit up. 
But at this point, it's like, all right, where do I go? I'm sure you can feel yourself kind of traveling down this right path, this right side of the circle towards the front. And you're doing a good job staying patient. Really great job getting the hips up into it. Left side still a little bit up, though, so a little bit pulling across. Like I said, fighting it across. And then catch a little bit higher in the legs, hips underneath you. Really good patience. And then it's like your body finally starts to find that direction. You're starting to work back to 180, getting the hip up into it. See that direction and that tension forwards. You catch. And then you have a nice, super patient, strong delivery. It was like that in both videos I saw. So what I would say, man, is, uh, like I said, just try to get that direction a little bit more set. Um, I know, I'm sure this like very offset to the right low point feels good. Um, but I think if you could get the low point, as you can see, the low point in your entry is like off to almost 270 degrees <clears throat> to your right. If you could get this low point a little bit more at zero, this left side would probably pull up less. You'd have to fight the hammer less. The ball would go around the left a little better. You'd stay back on the right a little bit better and you'd probably be able to find better direction. All right. Cause like I said, this, if you look where your hips go, they got to stay back. A little bit longer over that right side same thing here but then like turns three and four are pretty good i should say uh two two three and four it's just i think you need better direction in that entry instead of that long like reach to the right and sweep to the left i think i'd rather you uh set it up a little bit more in front of you wait for the hammer you can see that left side leading it a little bit so yeah pretty solid technique though i think you just gotta like i said find that direction off the entry and then you'll be able to feel better patience you'll be able to let the ball get a little bit more ahead of you because right now your hips are working great but you're really fighting it with the left shoulder you don't really let the ball get free so and like you have pretty good posture in later turns you just gotta kind of find that earlier on i think with some better direction and i think you break that plateau no problem like i said you just gotta really try to make the hammer throw as efficient as possible you know hip underneath you ball going around to 180 every single turn finding that direction where this is kind of a complicated sort of throw in my opinion i like it and it's pretty but it's not the most effective in my opinion so yeah let me know if you have any questions ramon it's close i think i think you have good feel for the hammer it's just making some little tweaks setting that direction getting the posture right and uh and you'll be well on your way to set a new PR. So let me know if you have any questions. If anybody else out there would like online coaching of any kind, go check out www.gripandrip.co. All right. So until next time, Sean Don signing off.